Branson, Missouri is an ever-changing tourist destination that is visited by thousands of people each year. In today's Branson Fam episode, we're going to talk to you about some of the happenings and the changes that have taken place in Branson in 2023. This has definitely been a year for the books, so you better buckle up. Let's roll that intro. Roll it. We would definitely be lying if we said that 2023 was boring in Branson. It was definitely a year that had multiple big changes happen. Um, Some things that we're excited about, some things we're less excited about. We're going to cover all those things in this video. Um, Make sure, though, that you guys keep checking us out because we're going to have what's happening in 2024 coming up real soon. Yeah, but first, right now, let's jump right into our list of our reviews on Branson in 2023. Our first category of things that we want to talk to you guys about from 2023 are the shows. So we actually had a honor of attending a preview show for El Mago Pop. Now, he purchased the Encore Theater that had sat vacant in Branson for years. And for those of you who don't know, this is a huge theater off of Highway 248. Um, And he is El Mago Pop. His real name is Antonio Diaz. And he is one of the highest grossing entertainers, illusionists in the world. Um, And all I can say is that from his preview show, y'all better watch out in Branson because his show is phenomenal. So as Jamie pointed out, we were able to go to his preview show. We're not going to tell you what this is about. We're not going to ruin the magic. You need to go check it out for yourself. Um, Antonio Diaz does have his own Netflix show, so make sure you're checking that out. Uh, Magic for Humans, the Spanish version. Um, It's incredible, but seeing him live is even more incredible. The dude is literally learning English so that he can perform in Branson. He's going to use Branson as his hub to store all of his things at his theater, and then he's also going to be touring the United States from there. But during the summer months, he plans on being in Branson, Missouri. And we are so excited for him to be making a home here. Um, He is um, planning on being here for his shows in Branson from May through July of 2024. If we hear any changes on that, then we will definitely keep you guys updated. Now, the next show that we want to talk about, definitely get ready for this. It's On Fire, the Jerry Lee Lewis story. This was a newer show in 2023. Um, It's about two hours long, and it is with Branson's highly awarded piano musician, Mr. David Brooks. And if you guys haven't seen him play the piano or perform as a Jerry Lee Lewis impersonator yet, you need to because he has so much energy. Um, The way that he plays that piano is God's gift, truly. And if you like Jerry Lee Lewis at all, you definitely need to check him out. Watching him play the piano the way that Jerry Lee Lewis did, or just watching him play the piano in general, the way he performs, the way he acts, just the little things that he's trying to do to look like Jerry Lee Lewis. Um, It's incredible. It won tons of awards, including the best brand new show in Branson. Um, Throughout the show award season, it was very decorated. Some of the musicians in his band are winning awards for this show and other shows. Like Jamie said, he's one of the most award-winning pianists in the entirety of Branson. Yeah, so get ready to Boogie Woogie because this show will definitely keep you on your toes. The next show that we're really excited to share with you guys, it opened in 2023 called Once Upon a Fairy Tale, and it shows at the Americana Theater. Uh, Our kids absolutely love this show. I absolutely love this show. And anyone who loves Disney songs, Uh, in any kind of musicals, you are going to absolutely adore this because they bring those Disney songs to life on stage. They're doing some revamping of the show and I believe they plan to come back in 2024 as well. Um, This show's at the Americana Theater and we really love the Americana Theater. We love the performers there. In fact, the performers in the Once Upon a Fairy Tale show are in several other shows at the Americana Theater too. And we love that. And if you want to see any of the American Theater shows, make sure you're using code BRANSONFAM to save 30% off your purchase, and it kind of helps support our channel as well. Yeah, and you can use that coupon code BRANSONFAM, whether you're calling their box office or you are ordering tickets online. Coupon code BRANSONFAM saves you 30% off. So 
these these shows definitely stretch the gambit. Um, any type of genre that you're interested in, I think you're going to find it at the Americana Theater. Now, the next show that we want to make sure that you guys know about, it did premiere in Branson in 2023. It's called Queen Esther, and it is at Sight and Sound Theaters. Now, if you have not seen a Sight and Sound Theater show, it is where Bible stories come to life on stage. And it's not just a simple stage that's right in front of you. It is huge, larger than life sets and production full of talented, talented people and animals. Um, and I just don't think that we could fully describe how phenomenal this show is. So with Queen Esther, um, there are other shows that also have been at Sight and Sound Theater, but there are a lot of things that make this one special. In my opinion, and Jamie and I have seen every show combined that's ever been in the Sight and Sound Theater in Branson, um, this one is the best production value. You know, it might not be my favorite Bible story compared to some of the other ones that they've had. It's hard to beat Jesus, but... This one's production value is incredible. The set is incredible. The side stages are incredible. Like it truly is like that 180 degree view on this show. Um, the performers are of course incredible. They always are. Um, but the production value of this one is probably my favorite of any show that's been in Branson. Uh, make sure you guys check this one out. It will be back in 2024 up until around the November time when the Miracle of Christmas comes back. And then I believe the plan is in 2025, there'll be another new show from Sight & Sound coming. But again, if we hear any changes on that, we'll be sure to keep you guys updated. So our next section of things that we wanna share with you guys that came in 2023 to Branson are the attractions and shopping. So this first attraction that we wanna talk about is absolutely adorable. It is called Digtown Adventure Park. Now Digtown opened on the Highway 76 strip across from the Hollywood Wax Museum. So if you find that big gorilla on top of the building, you look across from it, you're going to see these little construction machines that people are moving around, kids are having fun because Digtown is like a construction play themed experience for kids and their families, for adults as well. Um, you can get on these machines for if you are up to 250 pounds. Our kids absolutely loved these construction machines like excavators, cranes, log grapples, forklifts, and so much more. It is a absolutely fun place to be. So it is a unique experience to Branson because it is completely different than anything else we have offered in Branson. They do, in addition to that, have the Crane of Pain. They also, which you can see in our video, um, some of us have a lot more fun on that than others. Some of us are afraid of heights. Um, and they also have nine holes of mini golf that are construction themed holes as well. And it's a really fun, and I promise you on that ninth hole, you're gonna putt with something you've never used before. We do have a full video at Digtown Adventure Park, so we would love for you to check that out right after you finish up this video. Now, they will be closed through the winter and plan to open back up in spring of 2024. So we are really looking forward to any changes and additions that they might have um, coming in this 2024 season for Digtown Adventure Park. Now, the next attraction that we want to talk about activity is trolley trips. Now, trolley trips are these adorable green trolleys that you're going to see touring around Branson, and they are just full of so much life and energy and fun. We actually went on the Christmas lights tour um, on the trolley trips, and it was the first night that they were doing it, and it was just a blast. They depart from the same place where the Branson Ducks are, so if you find the Branson Ducks office, that is where the trolley trips are going to be departing from at that office as well. So when you are on these trips, you are going to learn about Branson history. You're going to learn about some of the greatest sites around Branson. And if you're here for the Christmas tour, you're definitely going to see some of the coolest lights around town. The Christmas tour is not the only tour they're going to be offering, though. They're offering many, many, many different tours, some that are themed for adults, some that are themed more towards kids, some like the Christmas one we think are themed for everyone in Branson. Uh, no matter what your age is, you can have fun on that Christmas trip. Yeah. 
So I'm really looking forward to seeing those other tours and what they're having to offer throughout the year. Um, and we'll try to keep you guys updated on that as well. Now, the next activity, we were so excited to be there on opening day. It is the Sky Trail at Shepherd of the Hills. Now, this is a place in the Shepherd of the Hills farm area where they are suspended wooden bridges that allow guests to view the beauty of the Ozarks from the treetops. Now, our family visited on the first day where they uh, had the Christmas North Pole adventure going on. And so it was decorated with Christmas lights um, in the evening time. It just looks gorgeous. Uh, I, I actually had a lot of fun, even though I am afraid of heights. Um, it, it was just a really cool thing that they have added to the farm. Our kids had a lot of fun watching her first few steps whenever she didn't realize that the bridges moved. I didn't know they were bouncy. <laughs> What can we say? We do love Shepherd of the Hills, and I personally love the events that they have there throughout the year. So if you guys are visiting Branson, definitely check out the Sky Trail at Shepherd of the Hills and all of the fun activities that they have there on site. And I want to add that Shepherd of the Hills is always evolving, changing, and it has become one of my very favorite places to visit in all of Branson. Um, it has evolved into a full family experience. So we really appreciate all the work that Shepherd of the Hills is doing out there. And we're excited to see what's to come because I think that they're not done. No. They've got a lot more coming. And the next place that we want to talk about is called Boot Barn. And it is a store at the Branson Landing. It's been an awesome addition to that area. They specialize in Western inspired clothing, hats, accessories, and of course, got to have it in the name. Uh, their boot selection is completely Phenomenal. I, I absolutely love walking up and down their aisles shopping, and I know that that's not everybody's cup of tea, but it is mine. Um, and our family has really enjoyed um, all kinds of Western wear there. Absolutely. In case you're wondering, our kids' favorite thing are the boots that light up. So cowboy boots that light up. And you can catch more of Boot Barn and learn more about them in our Branson Landing video, um, as well as this next attraction that we want to talk about at the Branson Landing called Metagolf Branson. And um, they're really not that far from Boot Barn, but Paul is the golfer in our family, so I'm going to let him talk a little bit more about Metagolf. So Metagolf is simulator bays where you can play on different golf courses, you can go to a driving range, you can get lessons on your golf game all indoors so when it's cold in the winter and you still want to keep playing golf because our area is pretty renowned for golf then you can go there play world famous courses you can play some of the courses that have majors at them um, this simulator bays are the highest tech that i've ever seen uh, they give you the best feel towards any courses that i've ever seen as well um, so the simulators actually move so if you hit a ball and the ball is supposed to be below your feet, then the simulator bay is actually going to angle itself though the ball is below your feet. They also have multiple hitting surfaces so that if I hit a ball in the sand, I place the ball on this part of the mat and it is just like hitting out of sand. Um, it has a ball retrieval so every time you hit a shot, another ball is going to pop out and you're going to put it on whatever surface you're supposed to be hitting from. It is a really cool simulator. It gives you your video feedback from your swing. It gives you all the analytics of your swing. It tells you the trajectory of the ball, the club speed, the ball speed, um, the distance the ball would have traveled. It tells you how much slice or how much of any type of spin is on the ball, the RPMs, etc. It's going to give you so much information that you can take from that simulator bay and then take it to the course whenever it warms up a bit. They also have NASCAR simulators in there, and those things are also really sweet. You can be driving them by yourself against the computerized drivers, or you can be competing against some of your friends because they have multiple of the bays that can link together. Um, that is a cool experience in itself. It's the real deal when it comes to the NASCAR simulators. It's not like the cheap knockoffs. You're getting all the feelings of the car, the sounds of the car, etc., and it is a blast. It really is. And they also have a golf shop. I think that that's something that um, not many people would expect going in there, but it is a good golf shop. And you can also order food there. Their food partner is Magnolia Bistro, who's right across from them at the landing. So that's Meta Golf Branson. We definitely recommend checking them out. Again, you can check out more information on them from our Branson Landing video. 
Now, our next section is about the food and drinks and sweet treats that have come to Branson in 2023. The first one we want to talk about is the Yard Milkshake Bar. And this is still very, very new. Um, they opened towards the end of 2023 uh, here in Branson. This was the first Missouri location. And you might recognize the name and this business, the Yard Milkshake Bar, from the hit TV show Shark Tank. And yes, they are phenomenal milkshakes. They also have sundaes. They have ice cream um, of any kind, pretty much, that you can think of. Uh, they have tons of different toppings. They have cookie dough. Our kids got cookie dough pops as well whenever we went there. And everything just is phenomenal when it comes to taste and experience. Yes, the experience, the hype on that is real. It is something that we've never experienced outside the yard. Uh, the shakes are cool to look at. They're delicious to eat. Um, the experience of just seeing how they were made, uh, being part of that is also well worth it. We couldn't suggest you guys go in there more. We understand it is very expensive, but there's a reason that Mark Cuban invested in them on Shark Tank. Like he saw the potential and now that we've been there, we see the potential in this business and we're so proud that it chose Branson, Missouri to be the first Missouri location. For sure. Our kids had so much fun there, too. It's just like a really cool environment on top of really yummy desserts. So One of the coolest murals in Branson, in my opinion, too. Yeah, definitely a cool place to check out. And the next place, since you know we love ice cream, it's YOLO Rolled Ice Cream. And if you've never had rolled ice cream before, it's almost put together like a show right in front of you. And it is very delicious. Now, YOLO opened at the beginning of 2023, right across from the Walmart on Highway 76, The Strip. And um, they also have a food truck now that's in the food truck court that's off of Highway 248. They, they offer delicious rolled ice cream created fresh right in front of you with delicious creations mixed with just about any flavor combination that you can imagine or think of. Um, our kids really love the cookie monster that has blue ice cream, um, cookie crumbles throughout it. I enjoy the strawberry flavors and all kinds of different toppings. So um, it's, it's kind of like the ice cream version of a hibachi grill. They have this flat like frozen slab and um, they, they pour the cream on there and then they mix in all your toppings and they flatten it out and then they roll it up and they put it in these little ice cream cups for you with your toppings. And I can't even tell you how delicious it is. It's, it's so good. You guys definitely need to check out YOLO Rolled Ice Cream. One thing that's also cool about their business is it is locally owned and it is the first one of their business. So if they expand, we'll always have that Branson was the first one of those. Um, they're young entrepreneurs and they seem like wonderful people and we're excited to see what YOLO ice cream has in the future. I sure am. And while we're on the topic of ice cream, we cannot leave out Sweet Shack Branson. They have delicious house-made ice cream and desserts. And they also have a lot of really good drink options that they mix with their ice cream too. So they're bringing a slice of the beach right here to Branson. The owners are previously from the St. Petersburg, Clearwater, Florida area. Um, and they did have a business there, but now we've got the beach here with us in Branson, right across from the aquarium at the boardwalk. Um, you can see the huge oct octopus look across the street from there and you're gonna find Sweet Shack. Um, our kids really love the decor in there. They even have tables that are made out of surfboards. Like it's, it's just really cool. If you like beach themed things, like this is gonna be your vibe, this is where you're gonna to wanna to go. It has delicious treats, it has delicious everything, but it's all about that beach vibe. That's the one thing that most people talk about whenever we're talking the community stuff is, wow, it is so cool. Like I've never seen some place like this that it just brings the beach to you no matter what time of year it is. And the owners are so, so nice. We definitely suggest that you check out Sweet Shack in Branson. Our next place that we want to mention is Wrangler's Honky Tonk. And if you kind of have that Western vibe, or maybe you're just wanting to go in line dance, or maybe you want to hear some live country music, this is going to be the place. And they have delicious food. They can also, I know I'm excited about the food too. Um, they are also available to book private parties and events. So I actually went to a, a private event there and it was very good. Their food was delicious um, and they had a live music playing for that event too. Uh, 
and there was a dance floor open and our kids did have a good time with that. <laughs> they tore up the dance floor. Um, and that is located on historic Highway 165 in Branson, right next to the theater where Reza performs. And since I am the coffee connoisseur in the family, I think I need to talk about the coffee shop called Bonnie Bean. And it opened in the summer of 2023. It's in the Cross Creek Shopping Center, which is in a place that we locals call Mount Branson. It's up the hill from the Branson Landing, and I really love this place. It has such a quaint, peaceful atmosphere with delicious coffee options. Uh, they have really cool seasonal drinks, seasonal menu, but they also have different milk teas and boba options if you're not feeling coffee. Um, my kids really enjoy the board games that are in there because I can grab my cup of coffee. They'll be playing a game while I grab what I need. And I think it's just a really cool place. And they've made it so welcoming and just a really great environment. And one of the cool things is it's not in one of the busiest areas of Branson. Mount Branson's kind of off in its own area. So if you don't like being crowded at all times or you don't like being surrounded by people, maybe go check this place out for a little bit quieter location. Yep, I definitely enjoy Bonnie Bean. Now, the next place that I also really enjoy just opened here at the end of 2023. It's called Mythical Witch, and we're talking about sandwiches here. So the witch part is actually the second half of the word sandwich. Um, it is in downtown Branson, and it is our newest sandwich spot here in town. So their menu is from the minds of the same people that own the Downing Street Poor House and Getting Basted, which are award-winning restaurants and local favorites here in the Branson area. Um, and their menu is so cool. Everything on there, each sandwich has a very unique name to fit their theming, but the food is delicious. I really enjoyed my sandwich. Um, I also really enjoyed the desserts that we got from there because, you know, I can't leave out dessert too. Absolutely. And like I said earlier, like the vibe, that is definitely going to describe this place. Like if you're in for a different sandwich environment, then check this place out. It's not your typical one where you go and there's music softly playing in the background or there's, you know, the desserts setting in cases that are just pristine. No, this place is going to be a little bit more fun. It is, especially their decor. You'll have to check that out whenever you go there. They are across from Main Street Pops, up the hill from the Starbucks that's downtown. And again, that's called Mythical Witch. And you know, there's something that you guys are probably going to hear about if you're coming anywhere near the Branson area. And that is the news that Branson was recently named the official vacation destination of the Kansas City Chiefs. And in our area, the Chiefs are most people's favorite football team, and the NFL is probably the biggest league in the United States, the most watched. So getting Branson recognized with these defending Super Bowl champions, one of the most popular teams, and maybe you've heard of the person that's been visiting games lately that's been blowing up all over the place, uh, probably the most recognizable person on the planet maybe. Uh, that'd be Taylor Swift, who today, as of recording this, we're recording it on a Sunday, uh, was doing the Arrowhead Chop. So she's got the Tomahawk Chop going on. Um, she's quietly becoming a Missouri sports fan, I guess. I wonder uh, if she'll come to Branson. <laughs> maybe she will. That'd be pretty cool. It really would. And we, as uh, Branson locals, we're really looking forward to really what this partnership between the Kansas City Chiefs and Branson holds for the future too. So we, during the Christmas time, we had the Kansas City Chiefs Christmas tree that was downtown, which was really cool. Um, the Branson name is kind of all over the place at the games now. And so I think that being able to get the Branson name out there in front of so many more people, we're really seeing a big influx of people coming to Branson too. And some people don't like this, honestly, that they think that this isn't going to help. But you've got to remember, this is one of the biggest brands that you could possibly partner with right now. Um, they're one of the ones that's being seen the most of any brand that you could partner with. And so we think it's really cool. We are huge Chiefs fans, though. Um, the kickoff party to start the year was cool. They're going to have Red Friday events going on throughout the season. Uh, the Chiefs, as of today, just locked up their eighth consecutive AFC West title. So that's pretty cool. They're heading to the playoffs. You know, they're having Branson performers come and do some of the entertainment. They're talking about Branson at games. There's commercials during the games that include Branson. 
And so we're hoping this generates even more income for the city going forward. I'm excited to see and hear all about it for the future years to come as well. Now, there are some things that have actually left Branson after 2023. So we want to make sure that we're talking about those as well. And this first one is called Big Air in Branson. And for those of you who don't know, it was our sole indoor trampoline park. Um, our kids always had a blast here and it closed as of December 31st of 2023. Now, there are rumors that in that place, in that building, Disney has purchased this building to install what they're calling an immersive Disney experience. Now, we're still kind of waiting to see and hear what all that entails, but you better believe the Branson fam will keep you updated and in the know about that when we learn more. Uh, something else very, very sad to me um, because it is so close to my heart is that Silver Dollar City's original Fire in the Hole ride is closing um, or by the time this airs, it has closed. Um, there will be a new updated Fire in the Hole, completely uh, different building location on site fire in the whole attraction it's intended to open in the spring of 2024 and even though i am looking forward to that new ride fire in the hole was one of my first rides it was your first roller coaster as well our kids first roller coaster so honestly it holds a lot of meaning in our hearts and when i say that real tears have been shed for this it's true so um fire in the hole we will definitely miss you um but I know SDC has some really cool things coming in 2024 plan. and uh, also past 2024 as well. Um, and we have many, many more dining spots, attractions, events that are coming your way that we have already started making a list of for 2024. So definitely stay tuned for, to the Branson fam for what's new in 2024 in Branson. We're going to have a video in the next few weeks on that. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, staying in the know about Branson and the area around. Um, and we want to make sure that we are staying connected with you all because that's one of the things that we truly enjoy with this channel is staying connected to you. So that is our list for today. We thank you guys for watching and supporting us. Looking forward to 2024. And until our next adventure, fam, we'll, we'll catch, catch y'all later. later.